Welcome back to the Hannity Program. 2016 Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton campaigning in Hartford, Connecticut yesterday. And while talking about gang violence in America, a problem in Hartford, she made this comment. Joining a gang is like having a family. It's feeling like you're part of something bigger than yourself. So we're either going to have gangs that murder and rob and do the things that are so destructive to the gang members and to the community, or we're going to have positive gangs. We're going to have positive alternatives for young people. Joining us now with reaction is Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark and trial attorney and political commentator Eric Guster. Welcome to you both. Sheriff, what about the parents of these kids? What about the people who live near them? What about the communities that uh, they arise from? Why is it my, I've got four kids, I've got kind of a lot to take care of. Why is it also my responsibility to make sure that other people's kids don't join gangs? I'm missing that. It's the responsibility of all of us to take care of everyone. And what Clinton said oh, was no, extremely powerful because I, didn't do, I did not disturb you. What Clinton said was extremely powerful. What she was doing was encouraging young people to make better choices. Was because just like she said, you have Shame gangs on you, that Eric. are bad you know and you have gangs that are, are positive. Because the definition of a gang, Clark, <laughs> is a group of people who you do see things what, together. You see where she gets that, that from, Eric? That is what she was saying. Well, just like I, when I speak to children in right. high schools as well as colleges, I tell them the group of people that you hang around the most are the ones you will be like. So if you make positive choices with the friends that you're around and the friends you spend time well, I think with, that's, hold on. I that think that's wise advice. You, no one would disagree with that, Eric. But hold on. Wait a second. There's never even a nod from Hillary or anybody in her party to the responsibility of the parents of these kids. Wouldn't they? If your kids go crazy or my kids go crazy, somebody says, hey, get your kids under control. She never says that. It's always your responsibility, my responsibility. What about the parents? Why not just at least mention it? She never does. Why? But the best thing about this, Tucker, is that she took, she put the responsibility on the children. Oh, she she said, you need to make choices. <laughs> you need to make better choices with the people you're around. Instead of joining a gang that's destructive, get a group of friends who are positive, and that's what she said. Okay, and it's almost like the Twilight Zone for the right, like Clark, to say, oh my gosh, shame on her for saying this. This is her telling young people to make wise choices. Okay, so I don't uh, see a problem uh, with that. Hold on. Why not encourage them to go to church, or is that just too... I don't know, anti Islam or so. I mean, like, why wouldn't she say that? It seems an obvious solution. I don't know why she did not say that in that particular speech, but the definition of a gang is a group of people in which you are around. That is what Webster's definition is. Of course, gang, we talk about the negative, culture it we is, talk yes. about the negative impact of the gang violence, of course, but what she's telling young people is make wise choices with the people you're around. I don't see the problem with that.